greatest coach of all time, John Wooden, on our first Southwest Conference Network telecast of the year. Really excited about this year's schedule. 12 games, Metro Communications Sports and Madison Square Garden Sports showing this game around the world. Actually, this game will be shown in Hawaii and Alaska, 47 states. Incredible. It's promised to be an unbelievable year in the Southwest Conference. How many strong teams. Here's a ball on the baseline now. And Baxter almost tied his man up. Baxter with a rebound. 12-8. DePaul leads the Longhorns by four. Aguirre against Baxter. That's the man-to-man -man matchup. LaSalle Thompson setting the pick, now getting free. And LaSalle Thompson shown some pretty soft touch, Coach John Wooden, for a, for a big man. Yes, a big man like that, you don't expect him to be uh, shoot that well. So softly from outside. 12-10, DePaul. And now what are they going to call? Way up in the air was Grubb. Number 34, he was all, he almost hit his knee on the rim. <laughs> they were really up. And a yep. foul is called on we'll it, uh, We'll reserve it now. The shot is missed. Now look at him. Really up there. And uh, he was fouled. Caught him on the arm as he started to put it down through. Teddy Grubbs. Makes it 13 10 to Paul. Martin Luther King High School here in Chicago averaged 25 points a game, 18 rebounds a game in his senior year. You know what Ray Meyer calls him? A tall Curtis Watkins. That's the guy he lost and was one of the outstanding players in his club. And this guy is only a freshman. DePaul by three. Baxter running the show to Turner. Turner. Bullseye. Turner, long range jumper from about 22 feet. And the Longhorns within one, 13 to 12. There's the long jumper from outside. He shot with extreme confidence as if he had no question of what he could go. Cummings in the lane. Got the roll. Cummings, 15, 12. The ball by three. High arch with a soft uh, uh, touch, so it had a chance to drop on in. As you'll notice, now if he'd shot the ball hard or pecked the ball, it wouldn't have gone. Back to the live action, pick up Turner again with Bradshaw on him, lost the ball, backs up with a loose ball. 15-12, Texas trailing to Paul by three. You gotta always watch Bradshaw. He's got the quick hands and he'll always steal the ball on you. Baxter, what shooting? And Texas down by one as Ronnie Baxter hit the bottom of the net. 12.35 to play in the first half. Bradshaw tries from 19. The tip. LaSalle Thompson finally just tipped it away from the rim. Saved nicely by Teddy Grubbs. Back to Grubbs. Man-to-man -man basketball. Bradshaw. Mitchum wide open. Rebound Danks off his fingertips back to Mitchum. Again, Aguirre had it tipped away. It's going to be awarded to DePaul. DePaul figures to win the battle on the boards, John Wooden. Yes, they do. And those uh, two strong uh, freshmen and, of course, uh, uh, their uh, center that they had uh, last year that Mitchum. has returned, yes. And Aguirre, who likes to sneak in on the boards as well, and he's a tough rebounder. Even though he's lining up a guard, you'll see him in on the boards a lot. By Bradshaw, Aguirre makes the fake on Danks. Good defense by Danks, though. He didn't let him get the shot away. And now a whistle blows, and it's going to be what? Traveling. Traveling against DePaul. He definitely moved his pivot foot before he started. Ray Meyer didn't like the way that last play developed. With a score. DePaul 15 and Texas 14. Let's pause for Alumni Hall on the campus here in the north side of Chicago. Long pass to Johnson. Nice play up and in. Great play as they release Johnson off the pressure in the backcourt. And now Texas has a one-point lead. 
Abe again showed what he uh, knew what he was doing when he uh, started Thompson. He felt that he could uh, definitely be of help in there. The ball was applying pressure on the inbounds pass, and Texas beat him with a long pass. And there is Teddy Grubbs again with a jump shot out of the left corner. DePaul has regained the lead. 17-16 with 11.07 to play first half. Now it looks as if Coach Wooden, DePaul is going to apply a little more defensive pressure. Skip Dillard is in the game now for DePaul as Danks goes baseline. Jackson snuck in for the rebound, and the Longhorns go up 18-17. So Skip Dillard is in the ball game, number 44. And it looks as if he replaced Mitchum. Yes, he did. Mitchum is out. So Dillard on the back line. He's only a sophomore. Again, the jumper. This one comes from Terry Cummings. Well, they're like twins, Cummings and Grubbs. A little difficult to uh, tell them apart out there. They're both about the same size and shoot well and have the same mannerisms. Yes, they do. 19-18 to Paul. Ball intercepted by the Paul. Dillard to the basket. Missed the shot. Look at the rebound by Grubbs. What a rebound by Grubbs as he knocked Johnson down. Uh, what a power move, and it's 21-18. Watch this. Dillard has missed the shot. Now here's Grubbs with a follow-up and just muscles it back up. Naive isn't too happy. He thought that Grubbs uh, should have been called for a foul, knocking Johnson down, and he had a few words. There was a little pressure. contact, and Abe uh, voiced his objections uh, to it, and you can understand why. Officials tonight, George Solomon, Tom Rucker, and Phil Boba. Turner. Looks as if DePaul has that swarming defense. They're trying to unsettle Texas. They were playing a straight man-to-man -man for the first 10 minutes of the game, and now they're trying to unsettle them. And now a technical foul has been called on Abe Lemons. time tonight. Uh, I was a little afraid that uh, might happen because uh, Abe did uh, object a little too uh, vociferously, uh, particularly when you're on the road. Yep. At halftime, uh, we'll be talking to Abe Lemons and Ray Meyer and Coach John Wooden, three of the greatest coaches in the history of the game. Technical foul shot is made by Aguirre. And he gets another. It's 22-18 DePaul by four. Aguirre and now it'll be DePaul's ball as well. DePaul has Dillard and Bradshaw on the back line. Abe still trying to get over the call. Up front, it's Cummings, Aguirre, and Grubb. This is Cummings with the ball. Bradshaw open for 15. LaSalle tops him with a rebound. The big freshman released for Danks, tipped out of bounds by Bradshaw. His anticipation is good, can really jump, and he's up there. Ball by four, 941 to play in the first half. Thanks. Now a whistle blows, and a foul has been called. It was against Dillard. He was holding Baxter away from the ball. Dillard with the foul. Right back to the plate in. The horns down by four. Danks in the corner. And Danks with a left-handed jump shot makes it 22-20. Texas down to the ball by two. Coach uh, Lemon said before the game he's been very pleased with the way uh, Banks has been, Danks has been uh, coming along after being a substitute for the last couple of years. There's a jump shot again by Teddy Grubbs. And it's 24-20. The ball again by four. We've had an outstanding outside shooting game by both clubs, Coach Wooden. The perimeter shooting has been uh, very good. I'm almost surprised when uh, they miss one occasionally. I right, turn over the basketball. Bradshaw played him.